Hello guys and welcome to a very special video on this channel. This is the first time we are looking into Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition and its campaigns. As you can see the campaign menu and the campaign screen looks very different to what we're used to. As you can see now it's separated in Europe, Asia, America and Africa. And like this you can click through the different pages and you will land where you are. The reason we are back at this screen is because with Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition there are three new campaigns released from the new DLC sort of that is called The Last Cons. So we have Ivailo, we have Kotian Khan, and we have one in Asia as well with Tamerlane. So that's why we're here. I think we are going to start off by playing the Ivailo campaign, which should be the Bulgarian one. During the Mongol invasions, a pig farmer leads a militia defending the Bulgarian villages but when his victories attract the attention of the Tsar and his nobles, he is forced to lead a mass uprising. Can a man of such humble origins defy the established order and give his people freedom? Feels good to be back, huh? So, AI difficulty. Right now it says standard, moderate or hard. So there's no hardest here, but we're gonna click hard, which is the hardest in theory from what we can do. So, the first one is called a most unlikely man. We shall jump in and get going with the first of the last Khan's campaign. The day has come for you to know the truth. For many years, I avoided your questions, my child. About you, about me, about your father. But you must know, you're not from here. Your homeland is to the north, in Bulgaria. Let me tell you a tale. Once, a powerful noble named Constantine led a rebel army to Ternobyl, the capital of Bulgaria. The reigning Tsar, a murderer who had usurped the throne, fled with his son Ivan to the court of the Roman Emperor. The grateful nobles of Bulgaria, a class of men called the Boliars, proclaimed Constantine Tsar. The new king brought peace to Bulgaria. He wed the emperor's niece and even arranged the marriage of the Roman ruler's daughter to a one-eyed Mongol Khan. But such peace was not to last. Men are like wolves. They smell weakness. While riding, the Tsar fell from his horse, shattering his legs and spine. The crippled Tsar watched helplessly as his kingdom descended into anarchy. Tatar raiders invaded his lands, while the Boliars busied themselves with increasing their own power. For fear of the raiders' torch, the peasants accepted the Boliars' whip. A most unlikely man changed this fate. A common pig farmer appeared in a small village. His hands were callous, and his weathered face was like that of any man who worked for his livelihood. But this man was different. Not only did he urge the people to resist the Tatars, but he somehow turned his words into action, leading a militia to defend the villages. Soon, his unlikely successes attracted the attention of far more powerful and ruthless men. Alright, you can definitely see that it has had a big overhaul in the way they present the campaigns as well. The music is on point, man, I tell you. And also we have the the way the whole introduction is done here. It's really, really nice. So, main objectives. Wait for instructions, as you wish. Let's look at hints. You are restriction. It's restricted to a population of 200. Oh boy, that's new. Explore early and often. Find livestock in the woods before your enemies do. When a castle is sufficiently damaged, a hiding boliar will escape from it. Watch for this so you can kill him while preserving the castle. I don't really know what a boliar is, but we'll find out, I guess. Your enemies are best countered by a different mix of unit types. Skirmishers and spearmen are effective against the Tatars, but cavalry will help you chase down the boliars, siege and infantry. The boliars are apparently player 3 here, in the yellow color. Do not underestimate your conics, they are hardy Bulgarians who do not give up easily. I also uploaded a video that where I give an overview sort of of the Bulgarians, so I definitely recommend you to check that as well. That's also one of the reasons why I wanted to start with the Bulgarian campaign, because I have actually checked out the Bulgarian tech tree and gone through the civilization. What do the scouts say? 
The winter landscape is barren and harsh. The light cavalry and cavalry archers of the Tatars raid Bulgaria from the remains of the pillaged town of Tolcha in the west. The boyars have no interest in resisting the Tatars. They leave the villages to fend for themselves while they hide behind three fortresses in the east. They will ruthlessly suppress any semblance of a peasant uprising with their infantry, siege and boyars. The crippled Tsar Constantine leads his formidable retinue of warriors from a chariot in the town of Preslavitz to the south. His disability has not hindered his ambition or cunning and he will ally with and use anyone who can help him maintain his power. That is pretty awesome. So the cool thing is, this is the first time I'm playing the campaign that where you guys actually don't know what it is. When I played all the campaigns earlier, you guys always knew what was, in the head, was, what was ahead of me. This time, none of us know. And that's more exciting. So, let's jump in. We are too late. Tatars were here. Ivelo! Tatar horsemen approach! Alright. Oh! Light cavalry. Mangudai. Okay, we have... So, looks like we have a... Um, cavalry archer hero. And this is Ivailo, he's the main guy, I assume. Let's zoom in and look a bit at him. And then we have Ranislav, who is um, a cavalry archer hero with five, 4 range, 10 attack. Alright, I like this. So he has a lot of HP as well, so it's pretty neat. Cavalry archer, cavalry archer, scout cavalry. So, let's... Uh, one second, I'm just adjusting the sound for me. There we go. Find and defend the nearby village. Village? Village. Alright, as you wish. Let's go have a look. We have a scout cavalry ahead. The game looks beautiful. Very, very beautiful. What is these? Ibex? Ah, oh, I guess they function as deer. So there is a path on the minimap all the way down here. We're just gonna follow the path. You can see the heroes have light around them, so they are easier to identify. I'm... Goal for this campaign, not have a single hero die. You heard it here. That's the goal. So I'm wondering if I should go here or if I should scout to the sides. Usually when I try to not follow the path that is given to me, it's disaster. Bulgarian soldier. Tatters man the walls. Alright. So, apparently we have a bunch of goose. Geese. Alright. So, we have skirmishers, spearmen, we have a monk. No crops grow here in the dead of winter. We will need to find animals. The Tatars burned the villages but left the livestock to roam the woods. Alright. Find and defend the nearby village. I assume that's where we are, right? I mean, I guess we're defending it now. I don't really know if. There's like a limit in terms of we're supposed to defend it for this long or something like that, but uh, we are defending it right now. Okay, there we go. Let me do some upgrades. We have the monk. I don't don't see any relics that we can pick up yet. Oh, we have a hunting wolf as well. Cool. So it's a little bit difficult. I mean, it's, it's going to take some time to get used to the way the new graphics look, right? Geese. We have the pigs here. Um, so something might th some things might be hard to differentiate at first, but it's something we definitely get used to over time, and all good. We're also gonna see a couple of new, fe new features that the game has. Uh, hopefully, we can introduce you to them. But for example, queuing like this works as normal. But what you can do now is you can click a villager there, queue them there, and then you can build a house and then queue them back to wood. That is definitely a cool feature. Now, let's see what's here. This is a yurt. I think I'm going to send these calories over there to compete with that. Oh, we found two villagers. Okay. Yeah, here is the, here are ball yards. This seems like a raised, raised uh, base. But a bear. Just keep scouting around. Seems like a pretty big map. Um... 
You can also toggle automatically automatic farm reseeding. It's also a new feature in the game with the H2DE. Ooh, there's a lot of pigs there. I would like to collect them, please. Show you something as well. If I have this town center selected and I click delete, I'll get a warning if I want to delete this unit. And I do not want to delete this unit. So that's good. No more accidental deletes of the town center, for example. So I cannot build farms by the looks of it. So we're going to have to rely on uh, wildness. I've scouted a lot of the map already. I don't really see too much yet. Okay, we got all these pigs. That's good. Let's keep scouting. More pigs. I'll take it. They serve pretty much as an equivalent of sheep by the looks of it. We can go to Imperial Age. Um, oh yeah, but guys, we have the crap host. I would like to find stone because I want to make uh, want to make some uh, some conics. Conics is a really cool unit, by the way. Hopefully, we get to show you them as well. Well, I'm sure we will in not too long. Okay, let's go up here and check. I have found the village. There's no really. I don't really see any signs of. Having to defend it yet, though, at the moment. Ooh, these are enemies. Just passing. Um, they are in the castle age, so I reckon we could try and send a villager over there to make a siege workshop. A beautifully looking siege workshop. And then take it from there. We have gold and stone up there. So far, very peaceful. I mean, we did select hardest difficulty or the... Oh, just as I say that. Okay, these are just regular... Well, I say just. These are regular cab archers. Let's try and attack the... Oops. Okay, there's an archer. We found another base of them. Suddenly, action is happening here. Oh, guys, come on. Be smart. Survive. Okay, good. I think we should be fine with our skirmishers and our pikemen here. Oh boy. The boyar, he's mad. There are some boyars and long swordsmen here. What? Bear is kicking our butt. Didn't even notice that because we were under attack. I feel like I shouldn't be out and about with my army. I probably need to. Uh, Probably need to use them. Can I build more town centers? Yes, I can. So let's find somewhere I can place a town center nicely. Might just make one there, honestly. So objective has changed. We now have our objective objective to kill three boliars. I will do that. Oh, I have a goose in my control group. I will do that. Don't worry. Okay, wood seems to be an issue for me now. Let's bring the hunting wolf as well. Can we heal here, please? Thank you very much. So I'm not gonna... Let me keep scouting a bit. Um, ah, there's a castle. So there's a boyar. There's a boyar. And there's a boyar. So that's our next mission, to focus on the castles there. <laughs> I do want to focus on the conic, the new unit. But I need to get some more economy rolling before we can uh, before we can do that. I actually have two hunting wolves. I only saw one. Maybe you have more. No, only two. So, how many? Let's make another seed workshop. Another battering ram. And then we'll just take out that town center on the left side. And five population. This I should probably town center that as well, because I need to be able to take this stone and gold. We do have two battering rams. So I'm just gonna go for it. Don't have all my hotkeys either yet, so if you see me misclicking or clicking images now and then, that's the explanation to why that is. All right, let's go. Uh, let's do Balkan Arrow, see if we can get upgrades for these heroes as well. I assume we can. We have a lot of uh, food here. I would like to have all of this. Thank you very much. Oh, what's up? Okay, more food. I love the way the game looks. We found a monk as well. Okay. 
And a relic. Yeah. More. Okay, that's good. More pigs. Look at the town center falling. Ay, 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 it looks so good. So I did pick up the relic. I love the soundtrack as well. It sounds so good, man. So they have a base here, the Tatars, Tulsha Tatars. Question is if we should focus on that. Or if we should be trying to um, get our economy rolling and then... I think I'm going to try and go for it. Might as well. Oh, they have a castle as well. What? 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 Okay, I'm not going to go for that yet. I don't think we have the strength required. I think our next step is probably getting to the Imperial Age. But again, it's actually quite difficult because we don't have... It's not a relic, actually. We don't have the economy to sustain... Ooh, dismounted conics. All right. Not sure why I sent these units there. I don't remember doing that, but all right. So... Dismounted conics. We don't know what they are. They are... The unique unit of the Bulgarians is the conic. And that's a cavalry unit, but when that cavalry unit dies, the horse is felled, but the the guy on the horse still remains, so he will continue to fight off the horse. I'm gonna build a market because I need to buy some. Uh, let's get the boar. Also, in age 2D, you shoot a boar once and it will follow you. You don't have to shoot it twice anymore, which is a very welcome uh, change, for sure. Not sure why that isn't working. All right, so we gotta have two relics here. Where was the second one? There we go. Wait, did I get another monk here as well? No, it just shows how many numbers we unit we have. All right, let's uh, sell some wood so we can get all to go to Imperial Age. I think we've scouted just about everything that we can here. But again, it seems quite peaceful, so... <laughs> I know how to jinx things, don't I? Seems peaceful, so I was gonna say... I think we would be fine... Just focusing on economy for now. Let's drop the relic and try and convert. Yeah, never mind. Okay, I did convert a boyar. Welcome to the family. Let's heal up. Okay, I do have enough. So let's head up to Imp. We can also queue technologies. So even though I'm going to Imp, I can also queue a villager behind it. So that's pretty neat. Mm. Don't like these intruders. So what else can we do? Again, we cannot make farms. So I'm gonna have to deal with the food that we find. There's a lot of food here, so I'm probably gonna go there and make a mill. Although it is quite exposed. Can I do F11? I want to see the game time. There we go. 21 minutes so far. The good thing as well, we can age 2 de also has the classic speed. So we don't have to play on... We're not forced to play on the speed that was with the... Uh, with H2 HD edition. That is also a very, very welcome change. Okay, we can afford a Krepos now. So, Krepos is pretty much a mini castle. It does exactly the same as a castle. I mean, you cannot do researches or upgrades. But it does exactly the same as a castle. And... Um, you can make your unique unit, which in this case would be the Conic in that as well. So, we're going for that. Oops, the boar is attacking us. Did they automatically hunt it? I guess they did. I do want to, again, improve the Conics. Okay, so he did not get the upgrade Vodkin Arrow, even though I did it. Okay, we'll focus on this closest castle first. Where are my dismounted conics? There they are. If you guys come over there and join. Yeah, food is actually a big problem here. I guess I could go up there as well, but... 
Get him under attack. Okay, that's not a scary army. So I cannot do... Im Wait, this is a crit boss. Of course I cannot do the Imperial Age. Elite upgrade. I can do this. And I can queue up some conics. Do I still have my ramps? Yes, we do. Let's bring them over there. Let's make a siege workshop closer to the enemy. Okay, man, not having access to farms? Kind of annoying. <laughs> I thought enemy ramps were coming in there for a second. So, here you can see the conic. This is the conic. Again, and this is this monoconic. So when this horse or this unit dies, it will be reborn into this unit, the this monoconic. They have really good stats actually, so I think that's probably one of the best units in the game already. But of course, I have yet to play them in a proper competitive setting. So it's just first impressions. No farms, hurts. I probably won't make more villagers because of that, because I just can't afford it really. Rather try and max out on the army. So, let's have a quick look at the tech tree again. Now we have 200 swordsmen for free, so we could make some of those. And we have the conics again, and we have cavalry. The archer line is decent, we do have bodkin arrow, a uh, bracer. We can also make hand cannoneers. So the question is if we want to invest into that. I still want to explore and play with the new units, so I think for the time being, stick with that. Uh, I do probably... I will probably wait for a castle, I think. Let's buy enough stone for a castle. And build a castle. Let's just build it there. Okay, I wanted to repair this. We do get siege rem as well, but again, there's lack of resources. Okay, that's under our crep house. You can see the crep house, even though it's much weaker than a castle, it still serves the same purpose pretty much. So that is good. Where did I send my monks? There they are. I want to heal. Oh, there's a ton of hunt here. 140 food on each of these ibex. Okay, so we do have four calf rams. I imagine that could be enough to start attacking. Oh. Let's garrison them. One in each. And we go attack. Make sure our villages are working. We're out of stone there. There's gold there we can go for. Okay, the question is how much do they actually have to fight us with? Men of arms, spearmen. Okay, that's not scary. They're still in Castle Age. The only other unit in Imperial Age is all their only civilization is the Tsar Constantine. If this is all they have, then I do not fear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I just saw a lot of colors down there and I was wondering what the hell is going on. Okay, I think we just ignore that for now since they're just hitting our outpost and house. Now we can check our. Uh, Castle. Yeah, it seems like they have no resistance here. So we'll just carry on, go straight for the castle. And we gotta pay attention to the boyar that is about to escape. Okay, so we have a castle now. We could do elite conic. Um, yeah, let's do that. I would also like to do the stirrups. Though it's quite expensive. Hello! Okay, I think we should be able to catch this uh, wherever this Bolia runs, we should be able to catch him. Oh god, wolves. You okay, gotta pay attention now, there should be a Bolia running, probably a king, yep, there he is. He's not really running though, so not too concerned that we won't get him. Let's get him. Oh, look at the castle fall. Mm. So, 
ist schon. Alright, so they are offering us a deal here, I guess. Ally with Tsar Constantine or attack him. Oh, look at him. I'm not sure which way to go here. Um, let's attack this first. Okay, I guess I didn't make up my mind fast enough and he wants to kill me now. So, we have now Tsar Constantine uh, against us as well. Uh, let's heal up. I need to start making some more conics. Stirrups, let's go. Um, this is in peace. The Keshex, that's a Tatar unique unit. I... Don't be so mad, Constantine. So it seems like our objective to kill the Bolyars are not any. Uh, is not in action anymore. So I guess if we allied with Constantine, we would still have to kill the Bolyars. I'm not sure though. But right now, our option is our not our option. Our objective is to kill the. Mr. Constantine, Tsar Constantine. So, try to build an army of um, conics, because I like them. Might do Siege Gem as well, honestly, but we'll see. Let's repair. See if this works. I asked her to. Oops, another set of spearmen and militia coming in. I asked her to Q repair all these. Let's see if that works. She only she did, she skipped two of them. Strange. All right, more food. There we go. More food in the wilderness. Can have some shorefish as well. Really good source of food income. Oh, she's repairing everything. Damn, that's sick. He has three horses. Now, these ibis were running, so I, I imagine there was something moving there. So I do feel like I'm going to get attacked by uh, Mr. Konstantin soon. Okay, more gold there, stone here. And again, no access to food, like farming, this actually really slows down your income. Okay, so we ignore the boyars now and we go straight for, for uh, Mr. Constantine. He has a 200 swordsman coming in, not really concerned about that. Oh look. Guy on the spear, oh boy, boy. We have more hunt in safe areas. Can't really see too much hunt anymore. Where am I sending my rams? I'm sending them this way, but then I guess we would have to fight through uh, yellow there. So I guess we just send them this way. Make some more conics. I guess we could mix in some more carry arches as well. Do have resources, just not spending it. Husbandry. Okay. Let's not let our town center fall. Scout a bit more. What, what, what? Why are you guys there? I guess I told them to go there probably. Yeah, to make a mill there. Uh, okay, so I did lose my conic. These are the tatters! Stop attacking me! I'm a man of peace.
Okay, time to put some control groups. Okay, where is Mr... I'm not sure if we have enough. I don't think we have enough army. Yes, 320 HP, 14 and 2. Okay. Champion guard. Watchtowers. Alright. Starting to look like an army. Wait, can I even enter here? What? Do I have to go all the way around? I guess I have to. Hello, I'm at your door, Mr. Constantine. Brave man. Okay, what do we do here then? Go there. Alright, this is starting to look like an army. Guess we fight through here? I wonder if I killed the Boyar, I probably would have gotten that castle as well, right? So I probably should have not killed the Boyar. But obviously it's too late to change that now. So we're trying to find more resources. Go there and heal. We do have fully upgraded Konix, so I do imagine we have a strong enough army to attack them right now. They melt. They melt. This might very well be the... Oh god. It's a lot of units. This may very well be the composition you see Bulgarians play with the most. Cavalchers and the Konix. I'm completely out of resources, I need to start boosting that again. Okay, so we're gonna have to defend our own base at the same time now. Okay, we hope that our Cavachers and such will be enough to defend while we start our attack and siege on Constantine. Oh, Mangonel. Destroyed Mangonel. Coming for you, Constantine. Alright. Just gotta... Uh, can't really lose cap rams because... Oh, I do have villagers nearby. I guess I could make... Siege workshop forward if I actually had wood. Let's take that out. Not a mangano. Let's buy some wood. We have the resources. Make a siege workshop. Watching buildings fall in this game is so satisfying. Oh, here's Mr. Constantine sending some units for once. Ah, oh, why am I taking out all the buildings? If we just take the castle and kill the boyar, I think we get control of all his all his stuff, right? Okay, it seems quite peaceful here still. So we leave we leave that for now, alive. Okay, I just wanna get the boyar out and then we're gonna snipe him. Then we stop it. Okay, there's the boyar. Stop attacking the castle. He's dead. The castle is ours. Okay, perfect. Okay, there are villagers. Let's repair those. So now we should have an access to Constantine's base. I still think our army is way too strong for him to be able to compete with that. He's gonna heal up a bit. And reinfor oh, we can make trebuchets. I'm repairing that, you repair that, and you that. This queuing can be really, really useful. Oh, he's running through the mountains, the misty mountains. Okay, repair that. 
Alright, this is nice, as long as they keep sending reinforcements there. Um, okay, getting raided. Don't like that. Star is still being healed. I think I lost one of my monks. Yep, we did. Oh, he's converting me. Okay, what? He got one. Yeah, let's prepare, prepare our move out. Let's do Siege Ram. I think we might also do... Oh, I lost the whole base. If I can get enough food, I can do Heavy Cavalry. I might even just buy the required food. Because we're about to make our last push, hopefully. The score is looking good. We make our move while Siege Ram is on the way. So we have our trebuchets as well now. Let's do some... Never mind, can't afford. Seems like we don't need our 200 population here. It looks pretty solid so far. Could also just use my trebuchets now, I reckon. Alright, let's fight. Boyars. Non elite, though. Not the best upgrades. I think we can just run in here. In the trebuchets as well. We are closing in on him. On him. I don't see. I'm not too worried about their army so far from what I've seen. We do have heavy cavalry usher as well now. Let's siege up our trebuchets. And again, each of these conics we have, if they die, we will get dismounted conics. So we have that as well going for us. Let's see a trebuchets. Yeah, they look beautiful. Let's watch them. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's here. He's here. Let's go, Constantine. I guess he's out of the defenders. Oh, wait. Georgie Turter. Well, either way, he's trying to run or what? Is he really trying to run? What a coward. What a coward. He's running. Okay, let's kill this Georgie Turter guy. Can we have a trebuchet destroy him or shoot him? Okay, where is... Where did he go? Did he really escape? Oh boy. Okay, let's kill Georgie Turter. Doesn't leave us a message. So we're being attacked here. I think we still have an army running there. We probably cleaned up whatever they had there. Do I really have to go and look for Mr. Constantine? Wait, why is he running here? What is this? Our cast. Oh, what? Our Krepos is killing him. Well, he's gonna run into our. Wait, oh, my base is under attack. Age of Gates, now Garrison. Can our town center kill him? I'm really confused about, about this. Just gotta say, I'm not sure why he's just running around here. Um, I guess we should be able to kill him now with these cavalchers. Really, really strange either way. <laughs> Never seen just guys just running around. Okay, goodbye. Oh boy. It's funny how he can talk even though he's dead. You are victorious! Look at this beautiful screen right here. You are victorious. We can even return to the map now to look around. That's awesome. So we can actually look around and see what we're missing here. We could have attacked um, the Tatars, but I don't see what good that would have done us except exploration, I guess. Um, is there anything else? This We were here earlier. They had a small base here as well, but there wasn't really too much resistance from the Bolyars here. Um, and there wasn't really too much pressure early game either. So, even though we're playing on the hard difficulty, it wasn't that hard. But uh, the only thing that was a little bit difficult was the food income, because if the, if the enemy was more aggressive on our food income around our base, then it would have been real difficult. But uh, since we got to take resources quite nicely 
it turned out okay. Here's the Keshik, the Tatar's unique unit. That's uh, also a cool unit. I really like that we can go back and look around on the minimap afterwards. Uh, look back at look around at the map after the scenario is done. Sometimes the actions of others force us to make drastic decisions. Such was the case with Ivilo. Whatever his intentions, the armed band he led grew beyond him. It became a force of fury and of revenge. Having overthrown their masters, the peasants took vengeance on the hated nobles, murdering their families before blinding them with scorching hot needles. Ivilo himself was said to have slain Constantine. The Tsar's severed head was carried by a horseman to Ternopil, the capital. There, it was presented to the Tsar's wife, Maria, and their seven-year-old son. All right. So there we have it. I really like the new, this, the, how they're showing the cinematic, so to say, or like the dialogues, whatever you call it. Also, it's definitely a very big improvement on how the whole campaigns are presented. Um, so, you can even return to the map right now. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that's so sick, man. I really like that. So we can always jump back in case we're missing something, but let's click return to campaigns and see what it looks like. So, here we are. We are at the... An Unlikely Alliance would be episode number two. So, it's been a long time since I recorded some Age of Empires 2 campaign. I'm really glad that uh, there are new campaigns coming out with the Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition release and also the last cons. So, what I can do is say thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope you stay tuned and um, hope you look forward to the next one. I'll see you in the very next video.